least for right now. We are making our way down to uh, Windsor, Ontario now. We got us about half an hour worth of driving to do before we get there. So, let's see if we can actually get us a decent trip this time. We've been sitting pretty much all day for the last two days. Did a little bit of driving there the day before, but for the last three days, pretty much I've not done too much at all. Or the first day there, uh, I'd only did like 72 kilometers or something like that, and then uh, the day before yesterday, I only did 330 or something like that, and then yesterday I only did about 50 kilometers, so uh, yeah, pretty much three days worth of doing nothing, basically lost time. But here we are again, we'll go see what this next load has in stock for us, hopefully this is going to be better. If we can get loaded today, then we have at least a decent chance of getting a couple of three days of good miles or maybe four days, but uh, yeah, hope for the best, right? We'll see exactly what's going to happen, but uh, we are supposed to go pick up a load here in Windsor and then go to uh, St. Uh, or, or St. Albert, Alberta. I don't think it's called St. I think it's just St. But I could be wrong. It might be St. Alberta. But. but anyways, that's there by Edmonton. So that will give us an almost four day worth of driving up to there. I think it was like over 30, 3,100, 3,200 kilometers up to there. So that will uh, that'll be a super long trip. But we'll see exactly what's going to happen. But anyways, uh, we'll keep you guys posted on exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to focus on getting to my pickup first. And then we'll go from there. We'll see what happens if we will manage to get loaded today or not. I know it's going to take a little while to get loaded. I do know that because of the material that I'm supposed to be loading. I know that kind of stuff always takes a good while to get loaded. But uh, that's all right. That's going to give me some awesome miles. And that's what we need right now. So hopefully it's just not going to be one of those cases where they're going to tell me, oh no, you can't take it down to BC, they don't need it there yet, or this and that, and whatever. So hopefully it's not going to be one of those cases. But uh, even if we can make it up to Alberta there, up to Edmonton, that still gives us some pretty decent miles compared to what we have done to the, for the last couple of days, right? So. Uh, so yeah, well anyways, we'll go down there and we'll see what happens and go from there. Keep our fingers crossed. All right, guys, we are now loaded and hammered down. The only thing is that we got to wait for again. Well, and yes, we do have to wait again. <laughs> and that is to get our uh, border crossing set up. So we're going to have to wait till uh, we get all of that stuff taken care of. But we can at least go up to London, Ontario. And then uh, we can wait over there for the paperwork to come. Apparently there's going to be a driver coming in from Toronto, coming this way. So I'm going to be meeting up with him over there at the London uh, Flying J truck stop. And then they're going to be handing me all of that paperwork and then uh, I can be on my way. Yes, indeed. So that's fantastic news. The other fantastic news is this is only about 6,000 pounds in the box. That is super light stuff. I love that kind of stuff. We're gonna get fantastic fuel mileage on this load, that's for sure. Yes, indeed we will, but yeah. I'm just uh, put trucker jukebox on hold there, so he's on hold. So I'm just figuring, you know what? Let's make a little video clip here, letting you know what we're up to, and giving you a little bit of a heads up. We finally got our load, and we're hammered down nice and sunny today the wife was saying it was a little bit on the cooler side in Manitoba but hey up here it's beautiful right so that's all that matters but yeah that's what we are up to now I'm happy now we finally gotten a load 
and we can finally go again at least a little bit for now after we got our border situation cleared and all that straightened out then uh, after that we will be good to go for at least for a couple of days so then we will finally back on the roll again I hope anyways unless something else goes wrong <laughs> but yeah that's the way it is right now and we'll just keep our fingers crossed that it's going to continue on being and a good looking forward situation so anyways we'll talk with you guys in a few we'll get back with trucker jukebox yeah guys we are still cruising right along here on 401 we still got us about another 40 minutes i would say to uh the flying j up there in london where we will be fueling up today yeah and then we will have to wait for the guy to come in there and get us our paperwork but uh yeah once he does we should be able to clear the border tomorrow or today whenever i feel like continuing on not sure how late he's gonna get to london but uh whenever he does we'll see if that's too late to continue on or not but we might just decide to go early tomorrow morning and then uh, cross the border early in the morning so that way there'll be less traffic up there at the border anyways because I think today there would be a lot of traffic there at the border so that might not be the best ideal uh, situation anyways so it might be a good idea just wait till tomorrow yes indeed but no matter what we're going to go down to the flying jail probably fuel up and then uh, probably go take me a shower and grab me a bite to eat while uh, I'm waiting there for the paperwork to get there yeah alrighty guys here we are at the Flying J in London Ontario and uh, I've gotten a few requests lately again about showing you guys how to fuel up or fueling up or whatever so uh, here we are we're going to be showing you how we fuel up today yes indeed we uh, just entered our cards over here and I'm gonna select tractor fuel that's what we want yeah the screen is a little dirty over here I don't want no DEF DEF is that afterburner fluid that a lot of these new trucks use so we don't want any of that stuff so uh, yeah we gotta enter our truck number yes indeed we do have to do that I'm just gonna put you up there for now well, we enter in some private information that you can't see or you don't need to know. Yeah. Let's give that a try. And uh, I know it's a little windy out here today, but whatever. We're gonna... Yeah, why not? Anyways, uh, we're just getting ready to fuel up over here. I don't need no, any additional stuff over here so there we go now it says remove nozzle yeah let's put my camera over here let's get that cap off over there or maybe I can even put you over here there you go now you can see me a little bit better let's open up my cap of you that don't know I do have these locked caps and they lock they have a lock inside of there in that round thing and I can uh, actually lock my fuel so you guys can't steal my fuel no way not gonna happen all right guys there you have it we finished fueling up let's look at this big screen over here hopefully you can see that we filled up 730 liters the cost of seven hundred ninety five dollars yeah it's a little more expensive here than it is in some places but everything goes up fuel goes up right so anyways we'll get out of here we'll go park over there and wait for the driver to show up with our paperwork alrighty guys let's go inside and let's take us a shower we got our shower bag with us let's show you around a little bit on this truck stop 
Look at this, it's got plenty of parking in here, eh? They got some where you gotta pay for parking over there, but for the most part, it's just lots of parking over here. But yeah, we're gonna go inside, grab us a shower, get us our fuel receipt and all that, and that way we're good to go as soon as we get our paperwork, right? Alrighty guys, here we are. We have finished taking us a shower. Yeah, we're walking back towards the uh, truck stop here basically back towards the truck so uh beautiful sunshine up here today it's kind of blinding me actually a little bit yeah anyways we parked over there so we're gonna go back there and we'll give the guy a call and see when he's gonna be here with my paperwork so we'll go find out how long we have to sit here Alrighty, guys we have finally gotten our customs paperwork yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to go straight back to bed. And then we'll get up early tomorrow morning and get out of here. As early as we can anyways. But uh, yeah, I think it was like finally 10 o'clock at night when the guy finally showed up with the paperwork. So uh, yeah, it was a good while, but hey, we got it now. And uh, so now it's time to sleep and then uh, we'll get up and we'll get us some good miles in finally. So we'll... Uh, yeah so let's not waste any more time i hope you enjoyed today's little vlog though and we will have some sceneries coming up tomorrow so stick around for that we'll have a good one everybody we'll catch you right here tomorrow morning on trucker rudy don't forget to hit that subscribe button there in the corner and if you wouldn't mind give me a thumbs up if you didn't like the video thumbs down if you like the video really much share the video with your friends and family so they can uh, get to know me and, uh, and watch my channel. So if you did that, and if you hit the subscribe button, we appreciate it. So thank you very much. Welcome on board. And we'll see you right here tomorrow morning. Have a good one. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come